I've had this pair of Revit Sand 2 gloves for a couple of years now and um, I believe they're starting to get a little bit long in the tooth. They started to uh, tear uh, at, at, you know, right here and my, ha my wife had to, uh, to, to do a little patching and then earlier on uh, it, one of these things ripped, one of the pull tabs ripped. But other than that, it's been great gloves, um, pretty good. Uh, uh, the touch sensitive uh, fing uh, finger and thumb on both uh, gloves worked and um, they proved to be quite cool in the humid hot Houston weather um, so I was looking for a, a worthy replacement for those gloves the problem with these gloves when I first got them is that I went by the Revit chart and it says for an eight and a half uh, inch circumference around your hand you need a medium glove uh, don't believe it. Um, eight and a half turns out to actually be better for uh, you know if you have a large size. Um, the medium is uh, is too tight. It was too tight in this, and it was too tight in uh, uh, in the gloves that I had before. So when I went to look, uh, when I was shopping for new gloves. Um, I decided to go back with the Revit again because I like Revit gloves and uh, I got this. This is the Fly 3 uh, gloves. In, it came in this packet and um, the gloves come like this. And there's a couple of uh, booklets, I guess, um, instructions and stuff like that. One of the things that I found in the uh, in the reviews on on Revzilla um, webpage was uh, comments some of the comments saying yeah they're all you know they fit well and all of that but one of them uh, that caused me a little bit of concern was uh, regarding the thumb it says that uh, the thumb was uh, either short in one case or is a little bit tight or something like that um, so true enough when I put it on I bought it I got it here this is the large and I put it on the first thing that I felt was this right hand right thumb was a bit tight it was the, the circumference around the thumb was squeezing me squeezing my thumb right now uh, it's a little bit tight and it could be a little bit longer here uh, the length of the thumb was, was pretty short also the, while these the thumb was short these fingers you see they're all long fingers are all long here uh, the left side is not so bad with regards to the thumb the thumb is fine with the left side uh, this is great um, the fingers are still a bit long but I figure in time when you wear them uh, and the glove the fingers we are in they'll get a little bit shorter so I'm not so concerned about the long fingers but I am concerned about the short thumb on the right side only not on the left I also am concerned that this uh, that the gloves they're perforated gloves but they don't flow a heck of a lot of air and um, so maybe this is not such a good glove but the thing that really uh, I didn't like about these gloves is it does not work with my phone the right glove fails to turn on the phone the thumb works but the index finger does not work. On the left hand, I believe, well I know the index finger works and I believe the thumb works as well.
So the most important finger of all is my right, I'm a right-hander, and the right index, uh, the right uh, index finger does not work with the uh, touch screen. So as a result, that plus the fact that the thumb is being squeezed and the lack of airflow or sufficient airflow for a hot climate like Houston, hot and humid, um, means that I'll be sending these back. Um, I didn't actually wear them, um, you know, I had them on for an hour or so and uh, just just to, to try and get accustomed to them, but they're not suitable. So I must say my review of these gloves, maybe they're okay for some people, people with a short uh, right thumb, and uh, but I think I'll be looking to get another pair of sand. Maybe I'll give the sand four uh, a chance this time. But this time I'll be buying a large.